Good. Good. Perfect. Good. Good. Shoulders fall. There we go. Good. Perfect. How's that? Great. Good. I already feel so much better. So much better. Good. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Did it all go? Perfect. Okay. How'd that feel? Amazing. <laughs> Pull hard, hard, hard. Yeah, perfect. Oh How was that? Uh, wasn't expected. Yeah, a little surprising. Yeah. Okay, hard, hard, hard. There we go. So what do you think? I feel much better. Yeah. Uh, this, I, this is just, I don't know. I've, I've tried so many things and have never, couldn't get relief. So. Yeah. So, um, I was looking at your chart and I uh, saw that you're having some stiffness in your neck, in your shoulder, and uh, you're a CrossFitter, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I used to go pretty consistently, but I haven't in the past six months. Um, I've had like a pain here in my shoulder, and I have like some pretty bad trigger points here. And I think it's just a mixture of all of this. I know a long time ago, I uh, pulled my trap muscle while doing okay. some rope climbs. Yeah. I worked for a physical therapist at the time. So okay. I was able to kind of like That's convenient, right? Out, but I don't have access to that anymore. Got it. Over time, like I, I'm, anything I do overhead like this, it's just major pain all in this area. Okay. Um, um, maybe it's stemming from that. I'm not sure, but I'm to the point now where I can barely even go work out because it's like yeah. it hurts and then I get aggravated. Right. <laughs> so. And that's frustrating because you can't do the things you're trying to do. How does it hurt? Is it like dull and achy? Is it sharp and stabbing? So it's dull and achy when I'm just kind of like resting, but if I do anything overhead, I do feel like a more like sharp, yeah. like sharp pain. Starts to become sharp. Yeah, and it's it's here that I feel it, and then kind of like in this area. Okay. Do you get numbness or tingling going down yes. into the arm and hand? Okay. How often are you having that? Um, it's only when I have like pressure on something, I feel okay. like numbness here. And then I notice in my elbows too, even just like resting my elbow down, I get kind of a Yeah. Pain. Okay. And by pressure, you mean like if you're trying to work on a trigger point or something yeah. and then you feel it going down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gotcha. And only the left shoulder or? Left shoulder hurts really badly. Um, I feel the elbow situation is with both okay. arms, but I don't really nice. have any pain on this side. Gotcha. Um, overall though, my entire body is just stiff. Stiff and tight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What we're going to do is we're just going to see if we can figure out exactly what's going on with the shoulder, what's causing it. Could be the ribs, could be the musculature, could be the shoulder joint itself. So we'll take a look and see if we can figure out what's what, and then we'll go through and get you adjusted and try and help you out, okay? Okay, cool. cool. Awesome. Okay, so let's just see how well you're moving to start with. So let's have you sit up nice and tall for me. Bring your chin down to your chest as far as you can, okay? And then look back to the ceiling as far as you can. Okay, come back to the center. Look over your left shoulder and your right. Okay, and then let's have you stand right here for me, face towards the door. Reach down, touch your toes as far as you can. Okay, and then come on back up, bend backwards as far as you can. Okay, yeah, a little stiff coming back there too. Yeah. I noticed you said you have some hip flexor stiffness. Yeah, so I was doing some front squats once and I um, had my toes turned out and when I went down, I pulled something here and it took months to recover and ever since then, it's just like... Felt strange. Yeah. Okay. And a little bit of just kind of dull mm -hmm. low back pain occasionally? Yeah. Got it. Okay, so let's have you have a seat right here. You'll face this way and let's take a look at that shoulder. So first thing is let's just have you take that left shoulder overhead far as you can and then the right. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come out just like this and then go overhead far as we can and come back down and we'll roll in. Okay. So we got pretty good external rotation, but I can see you're a little limited coming in there. So let me take a look at how the shoulders feel. Okay. Decent movement. A little bit of clicking there. Oh, there's a lot. Yeah. This one's a little bit more restricted for sure. Okay. And there was no like real specific injury injury for this, just gradual over time. Yeah, so another thing that happened, so long story short, I had cancer really at a really young age from something uh, you know, it was highly treatable. And yeah. then so I went I was working for this clinic and the nurse that used to give my injections was there and I had this knot. 
So their institute was like, okay, we need to go get this checked out, have biopsies done, all these things. Come to find out, it was like scar tissue. Mm -hmm. And over time, I feel like this, I mean, you can kind of feel it if I'm kind of projecting my arm up, but it's like, I feel like all this is just kind of like attached and like done weird things here. Yeah. So, you know, and then doing CrossFit and not really taking care of myself, I feel like it's just gotten... And when's worse. the last time you met with like your oncologist or anybody like that? Uh, not since then, just because... I haven't really had any issues. Yeah. And you're not having any, like, waking up at night with pain worse at night? No. Sweats, fevers, no. anything crazy like that? No. Okay. Yeah, this issue has been going on for probably, like, a year. Yeah. Okay. worse. No numbness or tingling right now, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's have you bring your arms out just like this. Don't let me push them down. Any pain on this left shoulder when we do that? A little bit. A little bit. Does that pain feel sharp? Um, it's not super sharp. Okay. Let's have you go just like this, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna rotate out and I'm gonna resist you. So go ahead and push out. Any pain there? Mm -mm. Okay, rotate in. Any pain there? No. Okay, we're gonna go right here. I want you to push towards the ceiling. I'm gonna resist you. Go ahead and push. Any pain here? Uh, like a slight. A little bit? Not too much. And then pull back with your elbow this way. I'm gonna resist you. Any pain there? No. Okay, and we're gonna go right here. Go ahead and just relax for me. I'm gonna roll this in. That's painful. Painful right there. Okay, we're gonna go right here. Don't let me push down. Any pain in the shoulder? Not too much. Okay, we're gonna go down. And then again, don't let me push down. Any pain? A little bit, yeah. That okay. actually is <laughs> so A little bit of, it feels like maybe some impingement in the shoulder where it's not gliding super well, not moving super well. So let's kind of see um, what else is going on. Sometimes the rib cage can play into that. The lower neck can play into that. And we can obviously adjust your shoulder, so. I've noticed, and this is a new thing that I feel like kind of like a tightness here where it needs to pop. In the front of your chest? Yeah, like okay. right here where my sternum like is. Like stiffness. Mm -hmm. And okay. sometimes I'll move and it kind of cracks a little, but it's just not enough. Yeah, never quite what it feels like it right. needs. Okay. Let's have you go face down. Your face will go right there where the paper is, and then there's a little handle for you to put your hands on. Perfect. Uh, a little bit Where's lower oh, right here. there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Definitely got some stiffness in those ribs. So when the ribs aren't moving super well, like this, then it makes it hard for the shoulder blade to move over the rib cage, and that can cause some issues with the shoulder itself. Yeah, super stiff right here too. Okay, so we're probably gonna start right here. We're gonna go ahead and get you adjusted. Do you have any questions for me before we get started? No, I don't think so. Okay. So we're gonna go nice and easy. My hand's gonna go right here. Good, I'm gonna give you a little turn. Good. How's that? Great. Okay. You're popping before we even got started. Mm-hmm. Good. Awesome movement there. My hand's gonna go under your hip here. I'm gonna use that kind of like a handle. And we're gonna go right here. So nice and easy. I'm gonna give you a little twist. Perfect. How'd that feel? Great. Good. Do a similar thing on this side. Good. Perfect. Okay. Now let's have you roll over onto your back. And you'll slide down towards the foot of the table just a little bit. This way? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so go ahead and lay back flat for me. So we're gonna adjust these ribs. This hand is gonna go right here. And then this arm is gonna reach down my back, kind of like you're trying to grab the top of my pants. So I'm gonna give you a little hug and my hand's gonna go underneath you. Okay. okay. So reach down my back. Good. And then let that whole shoulder relax. Good. Okay. Good, reach a little deeper. There you go. And now whole arm loose, deep breath in. Out, let the shoulder relax. Good, okay. A little bit there on the ribs and then we're gonna do the mid back. Breathe in, out. Good, loose, loose, loose. Okay, a little tough there. So let's try that again from face down, so. 
do a little bit of our massage gun here to loosen that up. You can just drop those arms off the top, perfect. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Let's take a big breath in, out, let those shoulders fall. There we go. That was tough from face up. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see how we're doing down here. A little bit tight in this hip here. Is that painful at all? No. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna adjust this hip joint and we're gonna adjust your low back too. So let's have you roll on your side. You'll face me over here. I'm gonna lift this up for you. That's kind of like a little headrest. Good, okay, so your bottom leg is gonna be straight. Your top leg will be bent. Good. I'll pull you off that shoulder a little bit. Right here, okay. So, deep breath in, out. Give you a little twist, good. Perfect, how's that? Great, good. I already feel so much better. So much better, good. So if you roll to this side, and then this one's gonna be mostly for your low back. So right here, I'm gonna bring your hip a little closer. Good. Awesome. And then we're gonna go right there. Comfortable? Yep. Okay. Breathe in. Good. Perfect. Okay. So now let's have you lay flat and you'll scoot up here towards me. I'll take a look at your neck. right there, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So, nice and easy. I'm gonna lift you up here and let me have all the way to that neck, nice and relaxed, good. It's gonna be fast, but it won't hurt. Okay, let that head fall, perfect. One more on this side, good. A little bit, okay. Pretty tight, huh? We're gonna do a little bit of decompression with you, okay? Okay. So, what I'll have you do is I'll have you lift that head up. Good. And now you can set it down. Now, no pain if we pull there, right? No. Okay, so we're gonna go here. I'm gonna give you a little pull. Good. Deep breath in. Out. Let it all go. Perfect. Okay, how'd that feel? Amazing. <laughs> All right. So now let's go ahead and have you sit up and face this way. And let's take a look at the shoulder. We're going to do a mobilization here and see if we can get it to move for us. Okay, a little tight. So go ahead and relax everything. One more. Yeah, that one's a tough one. Okay, let's have you put that hand right above your waist. Good. Now relax this elbow. I'm gonna pull it towards me. And I want you to pull your elbow backwards. So pull hard, hard, hard. Yeah, perfect. How was that? Uh, wasn't expected. Yeah, a little surprising. <laughs> yeah. And let's see how this feels now. A little better, mm -hmm. a little smoother. 
Still got a little bit of funky stuff going on there. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. So hand on your waist, relax that elbow, and then pull back, hard, hard, hard. There we go. Better. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's do that motion again. So let's go overhead, good, and then come down here, good. And then we're gonna rotate in. Yeah, that looks a little better on that side now. It feels better. I still feel a little bit, but it feels much better. Kind of tightness going into it. Yeah, it's so, been pretty, <laughs> this has been a thing for a yeah. while. <laughs> Go ahead, lay on your back real quick. I just want to see how all the muscles around that area feel. So we're going to take a look at the chest, okay? Right here. Does that give you any shoulder pain? No, but I feel numbness. Okay, into the hand. Yeah, and then I feel like it's slight something in the elbow area. Okay. okay. There's a little bit of massage right here. That okay for you? Good. Good. And are you having any numbness here? If I go under the shoulder blade here? Mm, no. Nothing, okay. We're gonna work on this for a little bit. Let that elbow just totally relax. There you go. So this is a little muscle called the subscapularis mm -hmm. and it can give you all kinds of shoulder issues when it gets really tight. Still no numbness? No. Good. Okay. And we're gonna go here. I'm gonna roll you out. Right there. So we're gonna go from here to here. Good. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. You're a trooper. <laughs> I know that one's not fun. And then, is this giving you numbness into the arm or anything? No, no numbness, but that's where I feel most of my pressure and everything. Yeah. Okay. Let's have you sit up and you'll face this way again. Good. Okay. Yep, right here. Do a little stretch here. Good. Doing okay? Mm -hmm.
good. Okay. All right, so let's take a repeat look at some of those movements. So we'll have you stand over here like you had, and let's have you reach down, touch your toes. You want me to face this way? Yeah. Good. And then come on up, bend backwards. Looks like you're bending a little further. Yeah. How's that feel? Much better. Better? Mm -hmm. And let's have you have a seat right here, and we'll go chin down to your chest as far as you can. Yeah, that looks way further. Mm -hmm. And then look up towards the ceiling. Good. And then over your left shoulder and over your right. Okay. And how's that feel compared to before? Better, yeah. Good. Much better. All right. So what do you think? I feel much better. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this, I, this is just, I don't know, I've, I've tried so many things and have never, couldn't get relief. So. Yeah. Um, you feel like there's less pain and less of that sensation? Yeah. Like it feels so much better. Yeah. It's Still, but. Yeah. So um, basically, it just seemed like your shoulder's not moving super well, and that pain that you're having when you're turning in and resisting me mm -hmm. is indicative of that. When it's not moving well, things can kind of feel a little bit compressed. You can kind of get that sharpness. Yeah. And so when we address the rib cage, that helps to improve that. When we address the lower part of your neck, that helps. All the muscles around the area, and then obviously adjusting the shoulder itself. And the goal is each time you come in, we're going to keep reintroducing proper movement into that joint. And over time, your body's going to learn that good motion and keep it instead of kind of going back to the way it was. And I think that we'll be able to clean this up pretty well for you because you do have good range. A lot of people, when they have shoulder problems, they have a lot of trouble going overhead and they have a lot of trouble kind of externally rotating like this. Right. But you do pretty good there. Um, you've got good overhead and I'm sure that you can kind of overhead, uh, overhead squat, overhead press with the yeah. bar. That's totally fine. It's like where I feel my most pain is doing like kipping pull-ups. So mm. if I'm going into this movement, yeah, like, coming back, it's, and... I can't do it. And it's yeah. so frustrating. And um, I just couldn't really figure out where the pain was actually coming from. Yeah. It feels super internal almost. Right. So to me, it seems like that shoulder was definitely not moving very well. And a lot of the kind of orthopedic tests and stuff that we did confirm that. You don't have as good range coming internal mm -hmm. on that side as you do on your right side. Right. Um, and so if we can start to normalize that, then I think you'll feel a lot better. So we'll try treating you for probably about three to four weeks at once a week. If you start to improve, we'll taper down. Okay. If for whatever reason, I think you are going to improve, but if for whatever reason after about a month you're not getting better, then we'll talk about, okay, do we need to get an x-ray or right. get a better idea of what's going on and just make sure that we're not missing anything. Okay. So, but I think that you're going to do great. How do you feel? I feel, feel good. great. Um